Now, our harsh economic reality is likely to force a new realism on the main parties at Stormont. That's the question we want to put to two MLAs sitting in the chamber, but beyond the reach of the party whips, David McClarty and Stephen Agnew. Thanks very much for coming in. Um, Chase and fees, David McClarty, the budget. We seem to leave everything to the very last minute. Do you think it will be different this time? I would like to think so. Obviously, we're in harsh economic times. No one has experienced such times before. So harsh, difficult decisions have to be made. Uh, and those decisions have to include health uh, as regards A&E services, uh, decisions about education. We still haven't resolved the uh, post-primary education. Uh, and uh, it hasn't gone away, you know, uh, water charges. Those decisions have to be made. We've been giving money away. We have to get money back into the system again. There was an opportunity this week as regards student fees. Uh, they made the populist decision, easy decision, not to increase them. I personally believe uh, a small increase uh, would have been uh, much better than no increase at all. Stephen Agnew, uh, I mean, that, that is a point, isn't it? We have the tuition fees, uh, prescription <laughs> charges before them. We have so few ways of raising money mm. that uh, can then be spread out somewhere else. What did you make of it? Do you think it will be different? I mean, I think the tuition fees example is, is arguably a good example of the parties working together. You know, there, there was agreements and manifestos that keep tuition fees down and they work together to produce a way to do that. But I think there, there's, there's still a number of challenges there. For example, um, the co co cohesion sharing and integration strategy, um, which, you know, a first draft was produced last time we've had a consultation. Now there's no mention of it because there was clearly failure to agree on that. Um, I'm actually working on a private member's bill at the minute um, to, to bring a statutory duty to cooperate between government departments because the feeling, certainly in the children's sector, is that that's not happening and actually children in Northern Ireland are losing out because of the failure of government departments to work together. I think that still needs to be addressed. David McClarty, does Martin McGuinness's move make any difference if he was to leave the Assembly? Do you think that would uh, change the stability of the structures that we are currently enjoying? I don't believe it will change that at all. Uh, they will find another leader who will lead them at Stormont and I don't think it's going to make too much difference. Uh, but these difficult decisions have to be made and they have to be made very soon. We're just at the start of a new four-year term uh, and if we, the normal uh, practice is to make those d difficult decisions in the first two years uh, and then of course most parties after that go into election mode. Stephen Agnew, um, the boundary changes are, are likely to have an impact. Uh, they're coming down the track as well. Do you think the, the um, Assembly will be strengthened or weakened by having fewer MLAs? Um, I mean, uh, my party supports a reduction in MLAs. I, I think, you know, we have to move on now. I don't think we can keep saying the Good Friday Agreement, you know, um, referring back to it and saying we have to have these institutions. But equally, I've always said that if we're going to reform the Good Friday Agreement, that was the people's agreement and we should go back to the people with any major changes to it. But I think the number of seats should be reduced um, and I think we, we do need more efficient government. Um, as, as, as mentioned at the head of this, you know, we're in harsh economic times and we do need to be making savings across the board and that, that should include uh, in, in the political realm. But uh, David McClarty, uh, just briefly, some of the smaller parties and independents like yourself could lose out? Uh, well, uh, that's up to the electorate. Uh, we all put ourselves in front of the electorate. Uh, the uh, experts were predicting this year that I wouldn't get elected. I did get elected. Just if you have a track record of working for the people, that's as much as you can do. It's up to the people thereafter. In a word then, what can you do to make a difference? People who are not within uh, under the party whip. By being there, by raising issues uh, and highlighting uh, mistakes that perhaps can be made, uh, and we can do that, both Stephen, myself and Jim Allister. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. That